Hello Cubs, it's Dan from the uh, 21st here. On the 16th of May we were all supposed to be meeting and doing our athletes badge together, uh, but given the current circumstances we can't do that, so what we've done is put together this video and the information pack, which hopefully you should have received, and that will allow you to have a go at your athlete's badge in your gardens or in your houses on your own with the safety of your families. Uh, get your families to join in as well. Have a go at the six events we're about to describe and let us know how you got on. So the shuttle run is very easy cubs. You're just going to need two cones or markers, jumpers, whatever you like to use and put them 10 metres apart. And all you need to do is get someone to time you and how long does it take you to run between them six times. So given they're 10 metres apart you're going to do 60 metres in total. And it's less than 22 seconds for one point, less than 20 seconds for two points and less than 18 seconds for three points. And it's as easy as that. Just go back and forth, back and forth, see how quickly you can do it. Good luck. Okay Cubs, so this one is the standing long jump. You're going to make yourself a start line, which is just across here. Then you're going to mark some points at 40, 80 and 120 centimetres. And what you're going to do, as I'm about to demonstrate hopefully, is stand at your start line, swing your arms, big jump, see how far you can get. And if you get past the 40, it's one point. If you get past the 80, it's two points. And past the 120 is three points. Okay, so that's all you've got to do. Now, just point out this is a standing long jump. It's not a uh, running one, so you have to have a go from a standing start. Okay, uh, and then uh, mark your points off on your score sheet. Obviously, you can use um, chalk on the floor or, or something else like that to mark uh, your points. So we'll just have a look at the technique. So you stand at the start. This is easy as that. So this one comes is the ball throw. Uh, you'll need to get yourself a ball, could be a tennis ball or a football, and a nice wall to uh, throw your ball against. You'll need to mark yourself a line about two meters away from the wall, and the idea is to throw the ball at the wall and catch it as many times as you can. And if you manage to do 10 catches in a minute then that is uh, one point and 20 catches in a minute is two points and for your maximum of three points you'll need to do 30 catches in a minute okay so quite tough uh, but keep trying and practicing i'm sure you'll get to that 30 in a minute and uh, mark your score down and good luck Okay Cubs, so the next one we're going to do is the sergeant jump and you'll need to get yourselves a tape measure and you'll also need a little bit of chalk to make a line on the wall and what you're going to do is you're going to reach up as high as you can on a wall, get someone to just to draw a line in your highest reach and then get somebody to measure 25, 30 and 35 centimetres above that point that you reached and then your idea is to keep your arm up and then jump and slap the wall as high as you can and see if you can get past that 25 30 or 35 centimeter mark for one two or three points just as is being shown here so that's all you've got to do for the sergeant jump record your points you can have as many goes as you like good luck So Cubs, for the skipping one, all you'll need is a skipping rope. All I could find was a child's one, so I'm not going to uh, show you how to do it. And you'll need to get somebody to time you. And all you need to do is see how many skips you can do in one minute. So uh, just skipping over and over like this. Oh, I can do it. Uh, and if you get 35 skips in a minute, you'll get three points. If you get 25, you'll get two points. And if you manage 15, you'll get one point. So have a go, find yourself a skipping rope or a piece of rope, make sure it's uh, long enough for you, just go careful you don't trip yourself up 
That's how you do the skipping event. Hello Cubs, so the last one I would recommend you do is the 1000 metres. Now you certainly don't have to do this, as your score sheet says, you only need four events. Uh, but if you've got a big enough garden or area and you want to have a go at the 1000 metres, by all means have a go. So mark yourself out a course, round your garden, up and down your drive if it's safe, uh, and try and get it as, as long as you can. And then measure how long it is round, and then work out how many laps you'll need to do. I've managed to get about uh, 50 metres worth of track going all the way around my garden, up and down my drive. Um, so I would need to do that 20 times to get a thousand metres. And as it says in your pack, the timings you'll need to do are uh, under 10 minutes for one point, under seven minutes for two points, and under five and a half minutes for all three points. So say maybe leave this one till last because it is probably the most uh, exhausting one uh, and give it a go. So Cubs, that's about it for your athlete's badge. You can have as many goes as you like at each event but it's only your best score that counts each time. You just make sure you note down your best score on your score sheet and send it through to your leaders and it's your best four events that uh, will count towards getting your badge and you'll need eight points from your best four events for your athletes badge and 12 points from your best four events for both your athletes and your athletes plus badge and if you don't get your athletes plus badge this year don't worry we run the cup we run the uh, we run the athletes badge every year so you can come back and have a go next year when hopefully we'll all be together and be able to do it properly just remember to stay safe, just be careful while you're doing your athlete's badge as well, get someone to help you and uh, hopefully you'll all have a good time and do well.